Hey, Buka. Hey, Buka. I have been sending for you. Hey, I've actually Buka. called you several times and you ignored all these calls. May I know why, please? This is Agubaz. Let us face the reason why I'm here. Hey, Buka. Because the reason why I am here is far more important than unanswered calls. I see. So, in one very short sentence, hey, can you tell me why you are here? The youths of Enua Volumos, once their elders, you kept under detention to be released. Hmm. I like the fact that you have become very brave and bold. me. And that should be the reason you find yourself in my living room. And you have developed the mind to threaten me. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. You yeah. kept on... Agobanze. I am done with what I came here to say. Release our elders. Or you will face the rot of the youths. Room. See, this boy has started to grow wings because he is the youth leader. See. He feels that everything can be handled by Rabadou. Mm. <laughs> so what did I have? The news is everywhere. You disrespectful daughter of mine. What, what did you hear? You arrested the elders because they came to caution you on what you did. When will you stop selling the lands that belong to the kingdom? Amanda, when? Amanda, how many times am I going to warn you to stay off my business? How many times? Father, for God's sake. You should have at least given them their own share of the money. Kingdom. Wait. There is a way to stop. You need to stop because a whole lot of people hate you that belong to you. You need to stop them. Because when it is, I will not be here with you. Trust me. I won't. Stop. You need to stop. The lands that belong to you. The king of wings. I You need to stop the lands oh, that belong to the kingdom. Wait. I am going to find a way to kill the Stop. You need to stop the lands that belong to the It happened a few months before your coronation. As we speak, they are still in detention. What crime did they commit? A man committed a crime and was cautioned by the elders. He gathered them, locked them up, and threw away the keys. I know I'm bothered to tell a few months. I thought you speak. It was a topical issue on the social media platforms of the Inua Vormimi Kingdom. Oh no, I existed that platform a long time ago. I was not interested in the unnecessary posts. And so I took myself out of that platform. As we speak, there's well, it's six months already. Six months? Yes. And oftentimes I wonder if ago, actually you realize the implication of bringing him close to you. Well, each year well, six I will months not... Already. It would be right to say that I am close to that man or that he's close to me. He offered to work with me, especially when the men of our case, well, I will not well, seriously after me. And I told him, you know, I gave him the go-ahead. And that was it. Well, considering what well, he has I done will for you, not. I doubt if he will be able to do anything. Says who? No, I'm not like that. I'll be quick to remind you, Ichi, that I have not sold my soul to the devil. Well, I will. What Agobanze has done in this kingdom 
I will not tolerate. He will take responsibility. It is wrong in the sight of man and in the sight of God. I will not stop you in your quest to bring him to book. But I advise you tread carefully. He's a very dangerous man. And that is why every prominent member of this community avoids him. Nobody dares question him. <laughs> Be careful, your majesty. <laughs> Very soon, that man is going to find himself in a bend on a head-on collision with me. I assure you, Ichie, he is going to come out second best. Himself in a bend, head-on collision. Hey, officer, please, eh? you really need to calm down. Calm down and explain what is happening there. In a way, I can understand it. You said that there's a rebellion did what? Oh, no. Now, listen to me. You are not going to release anybody from detention until I say so. I am the one who detained them there, and you cannot do anything without me. Okay? Listen, I am going to make some calls, and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> and why are you laughing? Why? <laughs> Daddy, you know when I when I look at all these things that's going on between you and Eze Bubediki, I just understand that it is karma staring you right in the face. Can you say it? How do you mean? I will explain. You see, the evil seed you sowed is what you're reaping now. You took out the men of Akezi and put Eze Bubedike. You thought you were going to be able to manipulate him. Now he has turned against you. What are you going to do, Daddy? Hide your face in shame? Declare a new king? Or oh, better still, you will declare yourself Isinze as a new king. How does that sound? Amanda, I am not going to insult your late mother. By allowing you to make me start feeling that I wasn't the one that fathered you. Because I am very sure that I am your father. But you have to be very careful. Amanda, you must have to be very careful because if you continue the way you are going, one of these days, I am going to forget you are my daughter and I'm going to treat you like an outsider. Hold on a second, Daddy. I like something you just said. You are my daughter and I'm your father. I am my father's daughter. Kill me, daddy. That way you completely get me off your nerves. But as long as I still have breath in me, I will keep telling you the truth. You called me. Hey, get out of my face. Just get out of my face. Get out of my face, you're going to do It's here, it seems, Agobanze, my friend. <laughs> I summoned you here because I... I got news that worries my spirit. But I am confident that you being my friend, you will see reasons with me. It has come to my notice each year that you arrested two of the elders of our kingdom. And I wonder why. And so I have invited you here to hear your side of the story. Did you or did you not arrest these men? Well, teaching people lesson the hard way is one of my hobbies. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, do you have a problem with the fact that I decided to teach some men uh, the lesson that they failed to learn on their own? Each year, in my career, you are not making sense. And you know. You have two days to call for their release. Two days. Listen. You are a man that I respect. I called you here 
because I am convinced in my spirit that we can reason as men. Both of us are role models, men that people look up to in this kingdom. Therefore, I would not want you and I to make a caricature of ourselves, but if you continue on this path, each year, I'll be forced to walk with you in that direction. I spoke to the man in authority here, the one that you have put in your pocket. And he told me to appeal to you. Release those men. Ichi, release those men. They are our brothers. If you and this stooge that you have put in your pocket refuse to let them go, I will have no choice than to release them myself. I will call for their release from above. I need to understand something next. Are you threatening me? Because I don't understand what is going on. You have not even asked me what they did and you are threatening me. If you want me to continue to respect you as a top figure in this kingdom, then you must learn very fast to do away with your evil act, failure to do so. <laughs> failure to do so, I would have to call you here to sit on a hot seat and give account of the land in question, the land that made you arrest our brothers. And I am sure it is not a conversation that you want to have. Hmm. Don't you think you are beginning to bite more than you can chew? Or do I need to remind you that I am that bone that no man has managed to shoot? And I'll be quick to remind you that I am king. And it is my job to protect our people. Your empty threats does not make sense. To me, Agobanze, when a bone is too strong to be chewed, a force greater than that bone will be introduced. And who is that force? You? Two days. Call for their release. Ned Yogo, I don't like what you're doing. As a matter of fact, it is premature and unnecessary. You don't mourn a man who is still alive. Okay. I don't believe he's dead. He will come back soon. Oh, thank you very much, Chief. That is what I have been telling her. But she has refused to listen to me. <laughs> it's your friend, I saw him. I know my son. <laughs> I'm a woman. I'm a woman. It's okay. It's okay. If you cannot be alive, I will forget me like this. He's alive. He's alive. Don't say that. Somebody has killed him. Do you actually put in so much effort in this? We even have assurance from the police that they are still investigating and in search of him. I believe they will come out with something very positive. Uh, they are dog. Okay? He will come back. Hell and heart. Um, if I... You have to stay back and ensure that whatever she needs, hmm, that you provide it. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Stop crying. Get busy now, Maka. Let me talk to her. Let me tell her. Take care of her. 
He's not dead. You have to calm down, Mama. You have to calm down. He can't come back here. He will come back here. Um, I want to thank you all for coming. As you all know, I've already buried my father. I buried him the day he died because he said his remains should not be bound. So, officially, the ceremony will be tomorrow. I am soliciting for everyone for assistance. You are a true son of your father. I will say that again. You are a true son of your father. <laughs> I am certain that wherever he is, he will be so proud of you. Well, now that you have decided to give him a befitting funeral, I pray that the goodness and blessings that come with it be with you. I say... Nande, I must say that uh, you're on track. Hmm? Your father, wherever he is, will be proud of you. We will give you all the assistance that you need. Hmm? Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you, my friends. I will never forget this in a hurry. I really do appreciate no, no, okay. Let me. There is something important that I want to do. All right. Listen to me, Nandi. I must be very honest. I am scared. Uncle, you're scared. Why are you scared? Or oh, am I doing the wrong thing by giving my father a befitting funeral? Nobody is saying that you're doing the wrong thing. I asked you a question, Nande. If you have consulted this in Zagubanse and you said no, why are you stubborn? Uncle, I don't care what that man represents. I wonder why have you people allowed this man to turn himself into a mini god in this kingdom? The last time I checked, he's not the king. He's not a member of my family. And my father was not owing him a dime before he passed on. No, why must I consult him before organizing a befitting funeral for my dad? Why? I see you are hell bent on going ahead. Afomisia Kagogaka. Hmm? I don't want trouble. Uncle, there will be no trouble. See, the celebration has not started. Wait until tomorrow. I will shut down this whole village. Huh? Nobody will stop me for giving my dad a, a, a bed fitting funeral. No now. Uh -uh. It's my father we're talking about. Wow. You like him? This is beautiful. <laughs> I love the material. I'm glad you do. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Exactly what I want. Really? Yes. <sighs> you know what? I am taking everything. Yes. Package them all for me. Now you want to make me cry. I am grateful. Thank you. You're welcome, my darling. Thank I love you so them. much. Thank you. <laughs> Having me as your personal chauffeur, you should go to sleep. I got you covered. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Amanda. Yes. I know you know what is going on in this kingdom. By that, you mean my father? Yes, your father. I mean, look at you. You're such a nice young woman. You've got conscience. You're so compassionate. Honestly, I am wondering how such a troublemaker is your father. My queen, first and first, I'd like to say thank you for your compliments. But you want to know what the truth is? All godfathers are cowards, including my father. In fact, that is why they make themselves godfathers. But trust me, the king is beginning to dismantle his nonsense. 
Amanda, that is what it seems in the small face. But I'm telling you the truth that your father controls a large area in this kingdom. And that is something my husband cannot do anything about. Listen to me, my queen. Change, they say, does not come overnight. It takes time. I don't know what your husband is doing, but whatever it is, he should continue doing it. And soon, very soon, my father will get off his neck. <laughs> hey, you, follow me. To where? What are you doing? We are planning tomorrow my father's burial. What are you doing? Drop me down. <coughs> I said it. Hey, I told him, but he did not listen to me. Even if your business does not allow you to know a lot of things happening in this kingdom, are you not supposed to be asking questions? You even had the guts to confirm to my staff that you are actually planning, organizing a funeral passage for your late father and I'm not aware of it. Excuse me, sir. I do not need permission from you before setting a funeral passage for my father. You're not my family member. Either are you part of the headers of my family. So why will I consult you? Look at the way this boy is talking. Is it because of this tattoo that you have drawn all over your body? No, why do I have this feeling that you are a member of any of these confraternities that they form and initiate people? Uh, sir, I do not belong to any confraternity. Eh? Yeah. Then I will find out. Because by the time I am done with you, Namde, you are going to discover rudely the difference between the legs of a goat and the legs of a ram. Because as you are standing here now, you don't even know the difference. Mm -hmm. Can I know my offense? Yeah? Listen, I go back to the door. Because you are not He's my brother's only son. Though, is you, is you, I am so disappointed in you. Why are you pleading for him when you cannot tell him simple things that he's supposed to do? Agubans, I told him. I thought he knew. He was not for child, yeah? Or, or not, yeah? Because, please, nothing must happen to him. It, it is too late already. Because you see this one that is here? No, he's already gone. Because I'm going to detain him and nobody can do anything about him until I say otherwise. Bullet, mm. carry this guy. This day, and no. if he resists, because, open yeah. up his breath. Because, please forgive him. Uncle. I am waiting for tomorrow to come. Mm. 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 And I will hear one canon sound anywhere in any of me to suggest that Funeral has been announced. The funeral, then you will see what I'm going to do. The funeral has been put on hold until he settles everything. Because yeah. please, please, please. if anything right. happens to him, his mother will die of heart attack. No, no, no. That heart attack will already kill her because something is going to happen. Hey! Listen to me. I go back and say, these people sound a note of warning to them. Let them stop provoking me. Next thing that they will say that I'm heartless. They are the people that are causing it. Talk to them. Biko. Biko. Your Majesty, please, I implore you to beg him. I, I know my request is a difficult one, but you have to do it for me. Nothing must happen to that boy. He's my late brother's only son, Your Majesty. You know how obstinate children can be. I talked to him, I begged him, but he wouldn't listen. Well, I am still trying to make sense of what you have just told me. I am trying very hard even as I wonder, to comprehend what you have to do. You are telling me that Ichie Agobanze abducted the young man because the young man did not tell him before fixing a date for his father's funeral. Your Majesty, that's what he refers to as structure. <laughs> that's what he calls structure. You are the king of this kingdom. We acknowledge that fact. But I tell you something, your majesty. All the kindred heads in this kingdom are in his palm and pocket. 
As a matter of fact, before any funeral is conducted in this Enua Vomimi kingdom, he must be consulted. Else, the family of the deceased will regret doing so. In this time and age, I told you the truth. In the times that we live in, it's unfortunate. Why would a man like you sit back and watch him do this to our people? Why? Your Majesty, what do you expect a man like me to do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect me to do? People who have tried to challenge him in the past regretted doing so. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Each year, he sees uh, I go bounce. You are my man, <laughs> but you are pushing me to the wall. That man is going to hear from me very soon. The land that I rule as king is on fire. I don't understand. How do you mean? The one that exudes greed with nauseating boldness is making my reign. As king, frustrating and difficult by setting this kingdom on fire. My love, consent. Please. Let's sit. Come on. I do not want this whole thing to start giving you a health challenge. I mean, look at you. It's already affecting you. As it should. Of course it is affecting me, my love. It should affect me. For the battle that I fight is for the good of my people. But I'm holding strong. Hmm? I honestly think you should call Isinze Agobanze and ask him what he wants. That man wants nothing other than to loot this kingdom down. He wants me to become a part of all the atrocities that he commits in this land. And I refuse. That man wants me to give him 25%. Of all revenues accrued by this kingdom. Now, that you would agree with me is the height of not just selfishness and wickedness, but corruption. And you know that I will not do that. I am not going to play ball, and that is why he's trying all that he can to make this kingdom ungovernable for me. I am disturbed. Yes. I am disturbed. Why? Because if not for this man, you would not have been king. And so because of that, I am supposed to kill my conscience and do what will make our ancestors and the people of this land turn their backs on me as their king. No. Mbano. No. I'm not saying that. But 
what if he, he tries to do something? You know, what if he tries to destroy you or maybe go and crown another king from the back? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he knows that he cannot do it. He knows that I became king through the right process of going four days and four nights without bath. Nuzu all over my body so that all the cardinal powers from the north, south, east, and west, as represented by A.K. Orie, are for Unquo, permeates me. I make bold, my darling wife, to tell you that I am a man and king properly permeated. And a small fry like he sins, who will not let sleeping dogs lie, will not influence me to do wrong. Okay. Hmm? But my king, you just delved into a realm that left me confused. Are you scared? I'm scared. You shouldn't be, my darling. Eh? For by the throne of our forefathers that I sit on as king, nothing will happen to me. Hmm? For light shall continue to take precedence over darkness. Smile, for it is well. Now, what other insult are you planning to bring up? Because I know you. Beneath this classless praise of yours lies insult. What is it? You know, I always wonder if you still have some conscience left in you. Because this properties you forcefully collect from people, of what use are they to you? I am still tolerating you because of the leniency of your late mother. The glorious woman that they took from me because she failed to listen to me. Ah, Daddy, I don't want to discuss my mother today. Let this be the very last time you will cut into my statement. I am still talking. If you are not going to mind your business, if you will continue, Amanda, to make my business your headache, you are going to die young. What? You heard me right. If you will not stop dabbling into the things I do, if you will not face your business, Amanda, you are going to die young. What is even wrong with you? No, are you not seeing your mates who are unmarried and productive in their husband's houses? You are sitting back here, monitoring everything I do, making my business your headache? Be very careful. Daddy, you are more enlightened than this. But since you won't play dumb with me, here's a brief lecture for you. When a man wants to marry a woman, he goes into research. He wants to know whose daughter is she, who is her mother, and who is her father. For a girl whose father is a tyrant. If you were that man, will you come asking for my hand in marriage? So next time when you want to lecture me about marriage, you should know that you're my bad luck champ. You know, you are so dumb. And that is the reason you don't even know the man who your father is. <laughs> 